Hey, hello friends. Welcome to my channel, SAP SD and ABAP League Support. So yesterday we discussed about the important uh, configuration. Yesterday means in the last video we discussed about uh, important configuration of a related to output type controls. I would like to reiterate that again. Let me go through it. Let me go to the nasty code. Okay, application is V1 and uh, output types. So here, let me open the custom output type that I have created, right? It is ZA00. If I double click here, here I have discussed about uh, these options, right? So let me explain you with example now today. Okay, if I open this uh, output type, here we see the option called uh, do not write processing log, right? Now let's see what's the use of this option. So currently ZDA00 ZDA output has been triggered and are assigned to this order you see it has been assigned to one of the order 585 if i select this one and you see the let me come from the beginning therefore you can understand better way let me open the order 585 extras output header and edit if i select any of the output type and you see one button here processing log if i click this one i can see the processing log for this output type that is displayed here due to this checkbox do not write processing log is not enabled right if i enable this and save this configuration now now what i will do i will repeat the output and i will save this now let me open the order and if we go to extras output header edit the recent one triggered is the top one i think one second yeah this is the recent one which is triggered now if i select this one and click on processing log you see now it is not getting displayed for old one it is displayed because uh, during that point of time this checkbox is not enabled right but the new output types whenever we trigger then we see that we don't see the processing log right this is the meaning for this field do not write processing log so it should be always unchecked then only we can see the actual status of that output type whenever it is failed if we don't get the log means we don't understand and we don't know why it has been failed what's the reason for this right to know the reason it's required recommended to enable disable this flag don't enable this flag then only if you see the processing log here right that's one thing one more thing is that multiple issuing if i check this one and uh, save this i will uh, okay, let me uh, uncheck this one first. Okay, now it is unchecked now. I will create one order now. So, our sales document type and uh, 3600 is the customer, customer reference number, material is sofa, auto quantity is one. And uh, if I save this, now if I open this order in change mode extras output header edit you see it has been triggered now right Okay, so uh, now what I will do, I will 
enable this flag now okay and save this now now let me open this order and extras output header edit you see when this flag is unchecked that time we don't see any entry here right after unchecking checking this one we see output has been assigned automatically if i save this one you see one more output will be processed let me save this one open this extras output header edit you see it has been assigned second time and it is ready to assign one more time now if i save this one it will assign one more time see it assigned one more time extras output you see three output assigned and fourth one is in yellow stage which will be assigned later okay now you guys tell me that is it an expert behavior that to trigger the output again and again without any changes in the order level there is no change in the order still output is getting assigned again and again and again without any changes in the sales order right this is completely wrong wrong way of assigning the output type here right so i am simply saving this no changes done in the order level still output assigning again and again the reason is that the multiple issuing flag has been enabled if it is enabled means whenever we save that order simply in v02 it will assign that output again and again and again which is not required at all right so customer will expect an output to trigger whenever there's a change has been happened without any changes there is a point uh, there is no point in triggering the output type again and again right this is the problem by enabling this problem advantage is trigger multiple times disadvantage is that unnecessary will trigger even though there is no change in the order level still it will trigger right so in next video we will discuss about how to stop triggering like this unnecessarily without any changes in the sales order and how to trigger the output type in a scenario like uh, pricing data has been changed or uh, rdd data has been changed that we'll discuss tomorrow okay that's one thing and i was discussing about uh, one uh, option right the vstat one second let me tell you that storage system time yeah so i discussed about these uh, parameters right if i open this output type you see not this one if i select this one and go to further data you can see this is the dispatch time okay this is determined or uh, this will be updated based on this is the based on this only if condition records are maintained means it will come automatically from there or else it will be determined from the config nace level only okay and you can correlate this one two three four options with dispatch time okay and uh, one means it's a periodic job for this we should run the rs nas 00 program if it is uh, two means same rs nas 00 program only but this time in the routine level we should specify the time okay and uh, send with application own transaction with this option we can run the another standard uh, program that is a uh, sd sdv 70 sd70 av1a this is a standard uh, program to process the orders whichever has the status of 3 okay four means it will save automatically immediately when we save the transaction it might be an order it might be a delivery or invoice so to, to summarize that we discussed today about these options like a do not write processing log and multiple issuing okay suppose if i enable this cannot be changed flag also if i save this one now in change of an order i can't assign the output type okay let me go to that uh, change of an order 
and extras output header edit so now i can't assign the output type let me okay let me try to assign this 3600 en if i click enter i am getting the enter saying that output for partner cannot be processed the reason here is that this flag cannot be changed that means we can't change the output type in the change transaction that's the meaning of this checkbox so this should be unchecked only then only you can ask the output type manually in the v02 fine then so in an earlier video i was not able to show some examples that's why i published one more video on this one fine then we can catch up tomorrow thanks everyone bye for now